y'all doing today? I hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, we got some more snow last night, another six inches probably, but it's quit now. So the lake effect has moved on, and maybe we maybe we'll have some pretty days. I know uh, Wednesday it's supposed to get up to 35, 36 degrees. So it's like a heat wave <laughs> after all this cold. It's like 17 degrees today. Okay, I have a small Dollar Tree haul. Please uh, forgive the blisters on my mouth. Um, it's that time of year I get them. Anyway, um, I have a small haul from Dollar Tree. Uh, I wasn't going to do it, but then I got to thinking about all my uh, new people that, uh, friends that have joined my channel, maybe that do diamond painting or is interested in diamond painting. I found these new containers at Wall, um, at Dollar Tree that I think is going to work really good for diamonds. The only thing is they don't have come in a box, but there again, uh, uh, Dollar Tree has all different sizes of little containers that you probably could find one to fit them in. Or even in, in um, Walmart or somewhere, you know. But anyway, I want to show you guys what I got. First of all, I bought two of the Sour Jacks. I got a watermelon and the original. I've been eating on the original, so it's in the other room. <laughs> and I picked up some envelopes like these. Picked up two packs because I, I, I got... Uh, swaps I got to get mailed out and I think that was I'm looking because I'm wondering if there's anything else that I might have forgot but I don't think so because I really didn't buy that much uh, I was in their craft area and I found these containers there's eight in a pack and I bought three packs of the eight in a pack and these are the smaller ones uh i opened one pack so i could check it out before i uh did the the video and they have a pretty good snap on them see they snap they snap shut pretty good so i think these would be great for uh diamond painting also, they had the bigger ones. So, if you have more, then we'll go in these, then you can get the bigger ones. Now, I'm going to open one of these so we can take one out and get a good look. See, it's a good size. And, and they're not, not real tiny either. See, snaps good. So, um, my thought is, I had to experiment, you know. <laughs> I spend my money and save y'all's. I have this box that I received in a swap. Probably, gosh, it's, it, it might have been five years. There's no name on the box. So I, I don't remember who I did the swap with, but I think it had to do with uh, a beneath the sea thing, theme, uh, treasure chests or something. Anyway, I just never got rid of the box because I liked the way it was was decorated and you know. And I took and I lined these up. These are the smaller ones to see you know, how they would fit, and then the bigger ones. And I still have, even with the big one, let me put this up here, even with the big one, I still have room to close the lid without any problem. And these, I could even stack on top of each other. I'm trying to make this to where y'all can see it. And still be able to close the lid. So I could get 16. 
I could probably get about 50 jars in in this box. Um, I'm almost wishing I would have picked up another pack or two of the eight packs of the the smaller ones. Um, so I would be able to get, okay, let me redo this. Let me let let me do this the smart way. Um, I gotta take them out of the packages anyway, right? Sorry for all the rattling, you guys. I'm gonna see just exactly how many's in here, and maybe how many I have room to get. Uh, I don't know if the Dollar Tree close to home has these or not. We got these in South Haven, which is um, probably fifty miles from where we live. I'm guessing, maybe, maybe fifty. Maybe I have to ask my husband. I'll be right back. Okay. I ask him. It's about 50 miles round trip, give or take a couple of miles. So it's a little bit of a drive, um, but it's, a, it's not a bad drive. If the roads aren't bad, it's not a bad drive. Uh, so we were going to Menards, uh, which is a, a lumber home it's like Home Depot or, or uh, Lowe's or, yeah, those places. So, I, I'm, I'm look, still looking around at furniture. And I'm also looking for um, a cabinet to make me a coffee bar in my kitchen. So, I asked if we could go up that way and... We hadn't been out of the house, so he didn't he didn't have a problem with it. So, so it was a nice drive. So I don't know if if they have these at our Walmart. I mean, our Dollar Tree or not, since I haven't been to them. But uh, if they do, I'm definitely going to pick up some more of the smaller ones, and maybe another package of the bigger ones. Okay. Double stacking. Okay. Double stacking. There's enough room for 30, uh, 30 jars. 24 of the small ones. And uh, 9 of, of the larger of the larger ones. I'll pick that up in a minute. Now, if you wanted to do all of the larger ones, you could probably get 12 in here. And if you wanted to do all small ones, you could probably get 48 of them in here. So that's a, that's not bad. And so for, for four packs, it costs me $5. So I didn't think that was bad to for uh, getting as many as I did, and um, that's what I that's what I bought this morning. Then after we did that, my husband took me to Wendy's, and I had a chili because it's gluten free, and I can eat it without the crackers. So, but I did stretch my gluten just a tiny bit, and I put a couple packs of crackers in my my chili. So far, I haven't gotten sick from it, so maybe I won't. But anyway, that's all I got, you guys. I just wanted to hop on, bring this short video, and tell you guys what I found at Dollar Tree. In case anybody is interested, y'all can go and check it out. So, I'm going to get off of here. I hope you're all having a great day. Have a good weekend. Um, don't forget to smile. Say a little prayer for me. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Okay, Bye, you guys. Um, just to add on, I forgot while I was at the Dollar Tree yesterday, I did pick up some potting soil so I can replant uh, my one uh, plant that was given to me. 
And I also picked up this guacamole dip and this jalapeno cheddar dip and these here corn corn chips. I did pick those up. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, these, uh, Robin always shows them on her channel. And it seems, I bought the cheese once before and didn't care for it. Well, either they changed it or something because these are worth a dollar twenty-five. I would, I would go buy these, and I will probably buy them again. The only problem that I see with the guacamole dip is usually it will turn brown on top before I can ever eat it all, and so I don't know how this is going to hold up. Um, I'm hoping it stays good. I'll probably eat this a little quicker because I like it. Um, I also, these chips, these are really good. The only problem I have with these are they're really hard. So they're, well, crunchy. They're really crunchy. So if you do have bad teeth, you might want to do a softer kind of chip like uh, to, uh Tostitos or something like that. Um, the restaurant chips might be a little softer on your teeth. That would be the only thing I'd recommend for these. But these here, it's worth the dollar twenty-five each, and I would buy them again. So I just thought I would hop on and add that on because I forgot about them because they were in the kitchen, and I did this video, the other part of it in my craft room. So anyway, catch you later. Bye.